happens first, I'm still here. And so. it's going to end in a lawsuit. And it looks like we're starting on Battlefield right Game here. on Battlefield. <laughs> oh, we're going to see needles right off the bat. This is not a hand warmer, though. How do you feel about a Sheik on this stage? You know, I was, you know, I, I was talking to uh, uh, Ziga right after our match when I was fighting uh, the exact same matchup against him. I was, uh, at first we started on Smashville, right? It was it was a fair pick and it went fairly close. I was debating between this stage and uh, Town and City, and I chose the latter, which ended in my demise. But this stage, mm, I, I, I have to say no on. I say he needs to go to Smashville at least once in this set. He needs to go to Smashville, or he needs to just uh, hope that FD... FD uh, doesn't get banned because you, you can't let Ziga keep running around like that unless you want to make some major reads. Yeah, I think Ziga, or Dare to Dream's thoughts, perhaps, excuse me, might have been, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what they struck, but with Battlefield, Pikachu, a character who does struggle to kill almost as much as Sheik, hmm. you know, Pikachu does have that kill confirmed, but being very difficult with uh, Raw Thunder. The problem I have with, especially giving people the stages that they prefer a lot, is... Oh, that was a very nice Tomahawk by uh, Derek. Doesn't quite connect. Ziga not falling for it. But uh, a lot of a lot of times when you uh, give people the stage they want, it's... that Nine times out of ten, that's the stage that they practice on. That's their hometown. Like, And I don't want to like give something like this exactly stage to Ziga with a back throw that won't quite kill yet. Because to, them, to them, especially against Pikachu, always practicing the... Uh, down oh, smash wow. killed coast to coast on Jeez. battlefield. But no, for Ziga right now, doing all these uh, up Bs across the stage, this just looks. This just seems just like the practices to him. Yeah, I mean, obviously being a Pikachu main. Oh, he Ooh, tried yep, to yep. read that. One uh, of those reads I was console. saying you have to commit for, but it's. Is it really worth when you have so much, so much space on battlefield? Yeah, you know, it, it, it has to be, a, you know, pretty hefty read right mm. there. But I do appreciate Dare going for it. And oh I mean, yeah. He didn't lose anything off of it. Here's where it gets tough. These forward throws amounting to nothing. There's an air dodge read right there, yep. though. Two take that stock and nice only 35% on him. Ooh. Yeah, he that did was, that. Oh, that was a bit of a bad air dodge right there by Ziga. Not, not really any reason to air dodge. Even in that, we're going to get a... Nope, won't quite, but he still covers it with a forward air. Yeah, frame traps right there. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, I think he was looking for ledge. Yeah, kind of missed. Being a cloud man, I thought he'd be good at that, considering how he always does the high up beat a ledge. But we it's all make tough. mistakes. I guess he wanted to put a grenade. Oh, good uh, Nair. Yeah, Nair just flat beating quick attack. Uh, good but he spacing. Needs, yeah, he needs to work on that spacing there with uh, with uh, hit, uh, that up smash. <laughs> Whoa! That traded. Oh, interrupts it again. I think that was Nair again, but this time it traded instead yeah. of just clean beating it. Yeah, he put out the uh, late hit. Interesting. It looks like he's looking for that late hit, late hit again, fishing for that uh, soft Nair bouncing fish, which on the ledge might kill at this percent. Yep. That move being pretty dang strong. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh but he's going to land on it. Excuse me, the DI read, but the platform got in the way right there. Yeah, that was the first That was the first time we saw, I think, a grab out of... Oh, no, we saw a grab out of Ziga. Nair. Not killing quite yet. Dare is still alive with max rage now. Now, this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a best of five, to remind everybody. Yeah, we are in winner's finals now, folks. Oh. oh, good bait, but he gets the soft spot on that Nair. They're having a lot Nair's of trouble still right alive. now. They're having a... All right, Dare finally gets back into the stage, and now it's his turn to play this uh, ledge pressure game. What's he going to do? He's putting out Nair's... Oh, try going for maybe a, a, a misinputed pivot? Yeah, like a turnaround smash attack or something. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Oh, and he reads the air dodge. Again, Another one. gets that 50-50, and we're going to see Dare take that game. Yeah, that was very Next good patience rage. right there by Dare on both stocks. He was behind, but he was not out. Yeah, Rocket, Ra Rocket Raccoon wanted me to tell y'all how um, he really appreciated Dare to Dream's patience and resilience in that game. Like, he never gave up, and that's what Guardians of the Galaxy is really about. I didn't see that movie. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't watch superhero movies. Just kill me. Did in you at least see the now. first one? No. What? No. What about the second one? No. Neither? I don't watch superhero movies. They're both. Oh my goodness. I'm does Quilly, does Quilly know you're holding Rocket right now? Yeah. Ooh. Like, I'm ready to get roasted in chat. Like, I mean, I'll play Marvel. That's like the most superhero action I get. Oh, they're really good movies, man. I'm sure they are. Like, and I not just, just Marvel quality good. Like, they're actually movie, movie good. I, oh, mean, God. I believe it, but it's just not my thing. All right, fair enough. But uh, right now we got uh, Dare to Dream and a nice lead right here. 
Yeah, he's taking all that momentum from the end of last game and just footstooling him. <gasps> oh, that was good. I on purpose or not, it definitely puts him in a solid lead with 50%. Oh, oh, oh we're going to see a jab back lock. Air. I've never seen back air jab lock before. Oh, it definitely does. And that is the prime setup. I was talking about this just like the practices. And I think Dare to Dream is very, very familiar with Battlefield. That was a very clean conversion. And he keeps going. The Sheik is looking clean. Ooh. There is... I'm, I'm really loving these conversions because he's not getting too overzealous right yeah. now with any of them. Yeah, he's just can... putting in work off a tilt, off of one of Ziga's mistakes. This is looking great. Yeah, this is prime Dare to Dream right here. Oh, waits for an air dodge. I believe that was a jump a little too hard to see. Snipes it. He has no jump. But that... The coverage. Dude, he's been using Bouncing Fish to frame trap into fair so well. That was amazing. Yeah, so it was a very strong start for Ziga in this set. Has completely done a 180, and Dare Dream's looking very strong. Right oh, now. that was a, a very strong comeback by Dare. I'm very, I'm so impressed by that. I'm really surprised we're not seeing the Donkey Kong switch. Ooh, so and, and we're just gonna have him run back. I don't know if maybe it, maybe it's the momentum, but yeah, there is a lot of momentum. There is a lot of momentum uh, in Dare's favor. Yeah, DK like. All right, hopefully that'll slow it down. DK Sheik, I've heard mixed reviews about, but it's Konga beat Void, so yeah, it's definitely. That match is definitely up to the Sheik. It's volatile for sure. Yeah. It's always up to the, how the Sheik wants to play it. Yeah, especially because the Sheik can die at like 50. <laughs> exactly. Grab, it's ding dong. Uh, it's in the game. And I'm loving I'm loving the, the sharking right now by Dare. Yeah, he is a little bit of a deficit right now though. For the first time in a while, is he's gonna build some more percent. Yep. And keep this back to just about dead even. Oh, that right, the ill-advised. A little questionable there. Oh, okay, hold on. Ziga's chance. Oh, he read that. He read that high, that uh that jump. Ooh, look at those. Look at the pressure right there. Just by jumping, he applies pressure. Yeah. Ooh, nice power shield. Right Such there from quick Ziga. movement. All right. We have a down air sending Gary to Dream off stage. Oh, catches him anyway. That, yeah. that was a well-timed up tilt. Oh. I was really hoping you'd just do it again. Oh wow! Soft spot. I love that. I oh, he went for that setup he got last game. He got soft spot up smash to air dodge read forward smash. Good air dodge by Darren. He survives for more. Catches them again. All right. Ziga not falling for any more of these uh, air dodges. Oh, dash attack with that pointy hat. Yeah, the, that probably hurt. The brick head. Yeah, like just like a crusty crab employee, you almost you always keep a lead block under your hat. Oh man, I love it. That's uh, deep in the SpongeBob references for y'all. Oh yeah, we're we're getting real deep in what a whoa, whoa what a setup raids the air dodge and you can't do anything about yeah, that you can't man. Challenge that move like that, you are going to pay. And Ziga did right there with a stock. Yeah, they're looking very fine on battlefield. If Ziga can bring this back, he needs to get out of this stage. Yeah, that was double back air to double forward air. Yep. That was nice. Forward air, forward air. Oh, this then, man's looking like a CPU. Yeah, he, first he did like back air, back air, forward air, forward air, and then he did back air, back air, look for a forward air after. Yep, these clean conversions, he's just going it by the books, and there's that's a read, a, and that's a 3 0 by Dare to Dream. Yo, Dare's gotta be feeling himself after that set. That oh my so goodness. Clean. His punish game was on point, his use of needles was looking very nice. It, it was just. It, man, that was look. It was just. He, he just never got a chance to press a button. I'm happy to see that, honestly. Yeah, that was looking really great. Yeah, like, that was Ziga, 